Hey guys, welcome back to our second video of to of today. We've got another tutorial video for you today, and to right now we have got the corner tutorial. So it's basically a mixture of crossing and how to score from corners. Because as, as I did say in earlier video, which was the fake throw video, if you haven't seen that, make sure you go and check that check that out. It will be in the outro or in the description. You'll be able to find that around somewhere. So basically, as I said in earlier video, crossing and corners and just generally heading in this game. Certainly in this demo, you know, it's difficult to say what's going to be in the full game, but in this demo. Crossing is overpowered as hell. So scoring from corners and being able to know a good corner technique to get you an advantage is going to be really useful in this game. So it seems like physicality and headers are really overpowered in the game this year. So what you want to do is you want to bring a man in short. That's the first thing you want to do. So this is the method and this is kind of, I won't, I won't call it a glitch. It's not a glitch. It's just a clever tactic to use. So you want to call a man in short. If you don't know how to call a man in short, you need to press the left trigger on Xbox and L2 on PS4, but you need to press the button whilst the replay is going on. If you were to press the button as you're already in the corner, it will just pull a man that's in short. He will start running towards you. He won't already be there. You see here, he's already there. I haven't pulled a man in, he's already there. And to do that, you need to press the left trigger in the replay, so he'll pull him there once the replay is finished. And you can see the gap with the arrow, how much gap and how much space there is there. Just by pulling him in before the replay ends, you can see how much space is there. And that's going to really help us when we roll it on. And you're going to see when, uh, when I think it's Thiago, is it Thiago? No, it's Ribéry. When Ribéry turns, what he does is you have to take a touch towards your goal. And you see, I took a touch towards my goal. And now what that's going to do is that's going to create a lot of angle. So when I try and curl the ball in, and the tactic to use that is pressing left button and X, which does an early cross, which puts even more curl and even more pace on the ball. That's then going to give my defenders and uh, my players in the box a really good opportunity to get on the end of this ball because it's going to be a pinpoint perfect cross. It's going to have lots of pace. It's going to have lots of width. But by taking the ball towards my goal, it just adds that a bit more shape onto the ball and it gives my defenders more of a chance to get on the ball because it means they don't have to get a clean header on it. It means they maybe only need to get a flick on header because there's so much pace and there's so much curl on the ball. Plus, it, by putting more curl on the ball, it's going to put the ball closer to the box, but it's not going to be able to bring the keeper out because it's not too close to him. And uh, it's going to give us a really good opportunity to score the goal. So as we roll it on, Ribéry puts a perfect ball in, Vidal gets on it, puts a good, puts a good header in, and that's basically, basically it. So when you take these corners, as you can see with this next one, it's in the same game this time. Ribéry runs out towards his goal, puts a great cross in, Hummels with an amazing header, and that just shows how overpowered headers are in this game. You know, they are really good. This is only a demo, so it may change, but this corner tactic is definitely something that could be really useful, and uh, hopefully it's going to win you a lot of games, and just from any any position, crossing is OP. So if you did enjoy this video, and you did find it useful, and uh, let me know how you're finding these tutorials, if you find them useful or not, because I, I do enjoy doing them. They are really good fun. It's really good to help you guys out. So if you do enjoy them, Make sure you do leave a like, show me your support, let's smash 60 likes on the video, that would be absolutely amazing. Make sure you do that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. Let me know in the comments which tutorials you want me to do next. That's all for today guys, have an awesome day, I'm out.